Welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I want to welcome you to a fun, quick and easy doodle drawn card that is a companion to the four cards that I did in a Skillshare class on how to draw fun and easy doodle drawn holiday cards. So if you're interested in the card class, click down below for all the details. Let's get started on this one though. This card is always going to be on YouTube, totally free. I am going to do this card straight in with a pen. And some people are like, oh, that's kind of scary. And really, if you draw one line at a time and you think about where you're putting your lines, it's not that scary. But even if you don't think ahead, you can make it work. This is the easiest poinsettia you will ever draw. What we're going to start out with is the center of the poinsettia. And this is where those little, it, they look kind of like little berries. They're actually the flower. These are actually the flower of the poinsettia. All of the colorful things around it, those are leaves. They just happen to be colorful leaves. So I'll do a couple more of these little circles. You're just doing random circles, big ones, little ones, tiny ones, it all works. And if you wanna go around and around a couple times on some of them, go ahead. We're going to go in with a little bit of watercolor to color this. So, you know, you're, you're, you're free and easy to do whatever you want. I am using a Molotow black pigment. It's a permanent ink and it is a zero two. So there you go. Now I've got my circles. Have you caught up? All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to put a series of parallel lines and all parallel lines are is two straight lines next to each other. Long ones, short ones, just match them up. These are going to be the stems for our first round of leaves and maybe part of the second round. So there we go. You're putting them on randomly. You're not worried about matching things up except for making sure that your leaves have two lines. Now the leaves on a poinsettia are pointed. They're, they're very long, sort of tapered, pointed leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a long, tapered, pointed leaf. And I'm going to go around and do the three or four of them without worrying about if they overlap. Now look at that, I just drew right over this tape. This is a Strathmore card pack card. It comes with 140 pound paper, watercolor paper cards that are five inches by eight inches about, and they come with envelopes in sets of 10, 25, 50, 100. So you can do that, or you can just buy some watercolor paper or go dig out some paper, cardstock or whatever, and cut it so that you have the size you want. I'm using these because it's easy. All right, so now we're gonna get back to drawing this. We are doing another leaf and I'm letting those edges be wobbly, a little bit random looking. I'm not worried about them being perfect. This is a fun way to allow your hand to just do what your hand does naturally. So if your hand feels like you always have a wobbly line, as long as your line is wobbly all the time, it's just part of your style. So go with it. Now some of these might be littler leaves. Now I have some leaves here, some stems, and I'm gonna go up in the middle, go way out, then I'm gonna come back and it runs into this leaf, 
that's okay. I'm going to skip, 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 and then come back and finish it off right here. We're going to do another leaf. By working around your, your poinsettia like this, you are giving an opportunity for random things to happen. You're not stuck. So like this leaf right here, I think it's going to be a little one and it's in underneath of everything right there. And then this one, I'm going to make it come over there. And it's going to be a narrow leaf. Cool. So now I've got spaces here. I'm going to go ahead and put some more little parallel lines. You don't have to put one in every single space. If you see an area that you want something, put it there. I'm going to go like this. And look at this. We are almost done with the main shape of our poinsettia. And I'm letting tips go off the edge. And the reason for that is to allow it to have space in the real world. It lives beyond this little card. See, look at that. Maybe we'll make a couple of them be tiny. And maybe that one's going to be a little bit bigger. Just working my way around going, hmm, I like that. Maybe we're going to have another one that's just sort of magically showing up over here though. It's bigger. It's coming out behind there. So maybe that's where the stem is. All right. And maybe one more right here. And that was maybe a bigger leaf also. And then it comes around back. I think we've got plenty on here. We don't need any more. So what I'm going to do now is draw through the center of each of these. And if it went off the page, off the area, just draw all the way through so that your center line is going out the tip. The center line is going out the tip of your leaf. And that way your leaf has some believability. There we go. Look how quick and easy this is. I love these. I have been drawing poinsettias all over the place lately just because they're making me so happy. Click below where I have all the information. If you click on my link and you go to Skillshare, you can sign up for two months for free, full access. Yeah, it's a great thing to do right now at the holiday season. If you happen to do something like buy my coloring book and you wanted to know how to make pages like that, I have a Skillshare class on how to make your own coloring pages. So check that out. It also makes a great present. I'm going to go ahead and put a few little leaf veins in. See, this really is doodling. You can make it as detailed or as not detailed as you wish. So look at that. I'm just going along and I'm only putting the leaf veins in on one side. Look at that. It starts giving you an idea that these are shaped more than just more than just flat. There's some shape to them. There might be some light and shadow. 
Now this one, I'm actually going to put leaf veins on both sides. It's really in the background. And I think this one is too. There we go. And so is that one, pretty much in the background. I think we'll go with that side right there. You can choose how you do this. Your artwork is yours. It's not anybody else's. I'm giving you a skill set. You are the one that's doing. You are the artist. Even if you tried to copy mine exactly, it's still your art in this instance because you are you're deciding all the lines the only way it wouldn't be your art is if you took my finished piece and traced it so i just ask that you don't trace my artwork or take my artwork and you know print my artwork up but your artwork go have fun make cards print it up share it with your friends You know, that's, that's part of the fun of the holidays also. The sharing of the love that we have. So, go share your love of art with your friends. And you could stop right here. You wouldn't have to go any farther. But I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of color on here. I'm just using a plain little water brush. Those are the colors that I'm just going to be setting my brush into. There's really no names on these colors. I mean, it says like C19, C3. That really doesn't mean a lot if what you're working with is another kind of fan palette that looks kind of the same. Go for a little orangey red and maybe some a couple of the greens and maybe the oranges. So what we're going to do here, I think, is a few of these in the background are going to get the green tones. And I am not going to... worry about getting perfect coverage and I will probably be going and picking up some of that color I am working my way around so that I'm not not putting wet paint next to wet paint. Let's see. If I go back there, then that leaves. It doesn't really matter. I'm just getting some green around the a few of the ones on the outside. And while that's drying, I'll come back and put some yellow into the center. Let's just go drop a little bit of that darker color into those. See, look at that. This poinsettia is, like I said, not a perfect poinsettia. It's got some little wobbles and, and things. I am going to have to dry it 
<laughs> Definitely going to have to dry it. But I think I'm going to drop a little bit of green in around the, the center little flowers. And then I will go and dry this. And we'll be able to move on to the next color. We'll go take our lighter, more pinky red. And put some of that in. Let's see. And now these petals are closer to each other in color. So I'm going to go ahead and just start going. little ones there. So some of those little ones were green and some of the little ones are red. See? That's a green stem. That's... See, I want this side to be a little bit more rich. And then this side just a little bit. And yep, I am kind of going all the way out over the tape when I'm doing my painting. Part of that is because I want the margin, the framework to show up as it stops at the tape. So it's going to have a nice clean white line or a nice clean sharp line all the way around. So let's see here. See, and this is actually the side that's going to be darker on that one. Not the side that I put the veins on. Oh well. So really this is like coloring in a coloring book. So much fun to do. And even if your colors go outside the lines, it's okay. It is totally okay to go outside the lines. Oh, wow, look at that. I like having some of those uh, slightly faded looking petals in here too. Because the real poinsettias that you see in the see in the grocery store, the the nurseries, you can find ones that have the really deep leaves, deep deep red leaves, and then there's the ones that have the very very pale or the white ones or ones that are more green and yellow and. I like how creamy this paint can be. If you get it wet and you just let it sit for a few minutes, it is creamy. Like that, like that. We're just about done, aren't we? You know, I got all those other colors wet and I don't know that I'm going to actually use them. Just getting a little bit of some highlight, shadow. I do have a white pen that I could go in and do a little bit of 
detail. I also have a, so I'm going to grab just a little bit of this kind of yellowy, orangey, little bit of both. And I'm going to put a few drops of that color in here and let them sort of mix as I'm going. I'm just going to let them sort of flow over. There we go. Ah, so I do see that I need to grab a little bit of green. A couple spots here and there. They don't have to be colored in perfectly, but you know what? It's kind of fun to, to drop a little bit of this color in. Whoops, that one was next to a wet red leaf. Got to be careful. Silly me. All right. I think I'm going to go and dry this. We'll put a little bit of glitter, just like they do at the, at the shops. And then we'll pull the tape off and it will be done. All right, so I have a Sterling Studio. This is a number two bright right here. See, it's fairly small. It'll be, a, it'll be a nice size for spreading a little bit of glitter onto these petals. Oh, the glitter paint I'm using is Delta Creative Ceram Coat. It is called Glitter. Oh no, I just poured it out on top of my card. Well, <laughs> look at that. We're just going to use this paint and get some glitter on these. <laughs> that was surprising. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading to you what it was. So it's the glitter ice. And it's basically a hologram glitter paint. Hologram glitter in a clear polymer acrylic base. And we'll just make this work. You know, sometimes things happen and just go with it. I really like this card. I didn't want to scrap it just because I spilled some paint. And now as I'm getting down to the end and it's getting to be a little bit thick, a little too much of this paint still, the, the glitter, I'm just going to start picking it up and pinching it off on a, on a towel. There, see? And one of the things about doing it like this is the paint is actually going to seal the watercolor. Just make sure you wipe off your brush before you go out into any of the areas where it's just wet, just white paper. There we go. And then make sure that your lines are going with the, with the lines that you've drawn. So if you have shadow lines or highlight lines going in a certain direction, don't paint across them, paint with them. because you don't really want to have it uh, have lines of color that are going opposite of the direction that you're that you painted. All right. So now I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. We're going to take the tape off. So here we go. Peel that tape off. You get a beautiful edge. Ooh, we're going to go.
glyph. There we go. My little tag. If you do this card, please tag me on your social media when you share it out in the world. Tag at Deliberately Creative. I would love to see it. Look how pretty that is. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Remember, go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.